welcome to Cooking with Miss O. Let's join Mary Beth Oxendine in the kitchen as she teaches you how to cook Southern style healthy. Welcome to Cooking with Miss O again. And I just wanted to start off because I tend to forget it with my verse today. And it's Nehemiah 8.10. And it's the joy of the Lord is your strength. And that has so much to do with our attitudes. As all of y'all know, or a lot of you do, I'm a widow. And, um, and I just wanted to tell you that I had to make a choice minute by minute, day by day, that I was going to have God's joy. Happiness was not in the picture at that point. But all of you out there that are suffering from either health problems or from somebody dying that you loved and it's just life is so different or anything like that, I just want to remind you about this verse in Nehemiah. They're going to put it up on the screen from now on out with our show so you'll have it because some of you have asked for it. And I just want to remind you that it's a minute-by-minute minute choice for all of us to, to trust the Lord for our joy. And I just want to thank you for watching. We have a special guest here again today. We're going to start having Gus on once a month because we're going to start cooking Southern chicken um, recipes with Springer Mountain Chicken. And this is Gus from Springer Mountain Chicken. How you doing, Mary? Doing yeah. good. How you doing? I'm doing great. And good I'm to see you. Thanks for having me. Oh, you know we love having you. Gus has been great in supporting us. They're our main sponsor. Um, we really appreciate what this company has done for us. Well, and we appreciate you, Mary Beth. And Mary Beth's cooking show is, is is just good, clean cooking, just like Spare Mountain Farms is good, clean chicken. It That's is. Right. Every, everything that we do for Spare Mountain Farms is from scratch, and everything that you cook is from scratch, and we think it's a very good partnership. Well, I, I feel very blessed, and they're only an hour and 15 minutes from us. That's correct. If Maria Pritchard and I are driving, if my son's driving, we're only about an hour from you. So. <laughs> and he had a wonderful time fishing up there near you all. So. Great, great. I but, understand. Um, what we're going to do today, Gus, is another recipe out of my cookbook. Uh -huh. And um, we're going to be doing chicken tenders, and it's day four. One we're, of my favorites. We, we like to grill these. But okay. with all the rain we've had, grilling has been out of the picture. Because before you get the cold lit, we've had another rainstorm. So I also, in the winter and different times too, we bake them in the um, winter and in the oven. And we do them on this um, paper because this is wonderful because it absorbs the grease. You've seen this before when I did chicken nuggets. We did chicken nuggets on this. And yes. one thing that I liked is there wasn't hardly any grease on the paper That's at all. right. And it, and it absorbs it, but it doesn't make a big mess. And I love that. And that way it keeps your pan clean for however many, if you want to do a bunch to put them up in the freezer and stuff. Um, I usually will cook a lot of these chicken tenders, y'all, and this is on uh, day four in my dinner recipes. We're not mm -hmm. going to do the rice peel off today. We're going to do the fresh green beans, and we're, they're organic, and I get them from the freezer in Ingalls, and we're going to do um, organic sweet potatoes, which I get from Earthbound Farms. And um, you know I love that company, too, because they have the best organic vegetables and spinach and all the stuff that I use, and I've been using them for over 20 years. Um, I used to have to get them at a co-op because nobody sold organics mm -hmm. in grocery stores when my daughter was little. So I have my own marinade that I make. As you know, I'm a favorite of this salad dressing. It's zesty Italian. That is good. Good seasonings, isn't that good? Yes, it is good. That's been around somewhere from the 60s, I think, ah. because my mom used to make that salad dressing. I already have our Springer Mountain. This is what it looks like, but they're in a new pack now, aren't they? Yes, we're in a new pack, and uh, it's a peel-away package, and uh, it, it's uh, a little bit smaller package than it is, so you got less package waste. In fact, you've got 40% less package waste yeah. because it doesn't have a tray. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, that, that is, is. That is correct, so you can uh, have the best chicken and, and help save the environment. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's greener, isn't it? That's right. It? It's that's a lot right. greener. It's a lot more sustainable. That yeah, and y'all are so careful about that. Well, thank and you. And I really love that you're cherry. Now, somebody asked me the other day about your chicken being um, organic, and I said it's better than organic. I've it really checked this organic. out. It is better than organic. It is better than organic. If you're organic, you can have access to the outside, and all mm -hmm. that is is your chickens will get predators and stuff like that. And yeah. Also, uh, you can give, uh, uh, if you're organic, you can give chickens antibiotics. Uh, in the egg, which which we don't do. Which you don't. Right. You're no, the only do ones not. that that's, don't no, do that. No, no, that's a crutch. I mean, if you're going to raise yeah. your chickens without antibiotics, make it antibiotics all the way. All the way, no, y'all no do antibiotics. And that's, that's why I started using y'all years ago. Well, thank you. It's because of that. Before I ever met you, before I knew y'all were in, I knew you were in Georgia. I just didn't know where. And um, I didn't know how close you were. And I didn't know how many farms we have over here in South Carolina. Well, we have a big, 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 presence in, yes. big presence in South Carolina. We and uh, another thing that, uh, that organic can't claim, we're accepted by the American Humane Association. That's the seal that I we're, love. That we're, that we're yes. good, to our, good to our chickens. And uh, there's less stress. They get more room to, 
to run uh, to, to roam and to get about and less stress means a healthier chicken just like uh, I believe you and I were talking before the show it's just stress will make you unhealthy yes it you will. know stress goes it right will. along with stroke it does. and uh, and we do not stress our chickens out we don't overcrowd them uh, and I saw that. Yes, and you I did saw see that, that. first And I met a farmer, yes. and I had a wonderful time. Marie Pritchard and I went in there. Now, Marie was good about talking to the men there and all like that. I was playing with the chickens. <laughs> I was having a good time. That's great. So, That's great. But um, anyway, we're going to make this marinade. I just use a cannon jar here. You, know, so you can put that in your yeah, refrigerator. Now, if you don't mind, would you just open this? I just tear it across and dump it in there. I'd, I'd be glad to. And again, this is zesty Italian mm -hmm. salad dressing recipe mix. Yes, and I do it on my salads, but I also use it for my marinade. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna ask a question here, just that I don't know. All right, you've got now you've got this one packet. Or do the pack? Do they come in different sizes? Why this size packet and why this size? Well, this size jar. jar actually, I have a salad dressing jar that was a Good Seasons that came with it back uh -huh. in the '60s that my mom had. Uh -huh. And so when she went to heaven, I asked for that salad dressing jar. So I don't take it away from the house because I don't want it to get broke. So I, I, I understand. Mom. I was just wondering. So about that's them, why I use that. I, I, I can well, travel with it. If, if you had a jar that was twice this size, would it be? Half oh. as potent. I guess I'm asking the, oh, I see the what ratio. You're yeah. No, I'm using the same amount. It has your directions on the back. Now, on the little jar that I have, that's from my mom. It has it marked on there, but it tells you how much. So we've already measured all this out. Okay. And then we're going to put it in there, and I'm hoping it's I, all going to fit. I think you did that before I got here. Yes, okay. and I think I'm hoping it's all going to fit because we brought this smaller jar, and after I right, thought what, about what do you have? What do you have? There? I have the olive oil that's right olive there. Oil. It's that one right there, and I think I'm probably going to be a little bit in trouble here with this because I think I got the small jar and I should I do have a taller one yeah and when we bring I was asking everything, about that jar see <laughs> you knew. Okay, just, yeah. just hush Gus. okay, I'll just okay, just, okay. You're right. I, I believe you're gonna be just right Mary Beth I really I really do if I am I, I think you are yes ma'am I don't know Gus all that water's not gonna go in there okay that's gonna be a little thicker yeah and that's fine because it's, it's a marinade that's correct it's a marinade all right so and then we're gonna put this over this I love these little containers like this because I don't like a lot of raw meat. To you know, I like you to be real careful because yes, it's so dangerous. And, and you told me one time about that that there's a certain container that you use because of the components that is made up in it of the plastic. Yeah, it's Tupperware. Tupperware is a plastic that's safe. It really is. Yes. It actually is. But and, and, all your and other you said there's other, some out there that's, that's not keep, right. Yeah, there's what, a lot of stuff out there. What's the bad thing that you want to look for in your plastics? Well, first of all, you don't want them from overseas okay. at all. Okay. Okay. If they're overseas, they're not regulated like we regulate Correct. here. Correct. And so, and I need to say this too. I went, I, I did my shopping yesterday, and um, as you know, we're doing three shows here today. Yes. And so those will be played out. And as I was shopping for one of the other shows. Um, a, a regular brand, and I can say that here, I know I can, but I don't want to really do it, but a brand that I've always used, I want to ask you to start checking your canned goods, your bottles, and you're going to have to check, and you warned me about the corn chips the last time. Yes. And you're right. And so um, I'm not using corn chips anymore because I can't get the organic corn stuff I'm finding out, and I can't find any yet that's not made in overseas places that are not well, have good there, there, and you made, you, made, you made a very good point on, on, on our government. You know, we, we complain about them and, okay. and stuff like that a lot, but, but we've, got the, we've got the, the best country that there is, and one reason why is because the government does regulate the food industry and makes it safe, and a lot of stuff coming from these other countries is, is, no. is not regulated. And, uh, and we have I, problems with sewage with stuff. Uh, yes, 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 and, and yes, I, yes. I, 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 was, uh, I was fortunate enough about 10 years ago to go to a foreign country with our commissioner of agriculture at the time. His name was Mr. Tommy Irvin. Yeah. And it, we went to this foreign country, and at the foreign, it was an agriculture trip, and at this foreign country, and I, I, won't, I won't mention the name, but, but it, was a, it was a foreign country. We were out there, and, and they were telling us about how uh, sustainable that they were yes. and about how organic that they were and about uh, uh, everything that they had was just organic and and, uh, and that's what they did and, and about the best quality they had and everything. So Tommy and I get back on the bus and I said, well, Tommy, what did you think about this organic farm that we went? And he said, well, they may think that it is organic, but he <laughs> said what they're spraying out there has been banned in the U.S. for about 20 years. Yes, and so, exactly. Yeah, so and you see don't that, know. I do you, know you that. Yeah, you don't D, know um, I think it's DDT that was banned. Yes, ma'am. And yes. that's the one real bad one that a lot of children are allergic to. My daughter was allergic to that. 
And it is a high cancer causing one. Oh, too. That, that, that was a, a very bad. A very bad very chemical. Bad and that's why you have to be careful, chemical. everyone, because even that, though it's been banned here, um, manufacturers in America send their food over to these countries that they're allowed to use it. Yes. And so you're good. still getting food with this horrible, horrible chemical in it. And that's why we have so many children with cancer, with autoimmune diseases, and all that. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, um, she did the, um, the girl that's helping me, Stephanie, and Marie Pritchard and them, they put the oil in this one-fourth of a cup thing here. And um, I just do that. You need one-fourth cup. It says it in there. Now, now so Marie, what, uh, I mean, did, did, you, did you put oil in the, in the honey? No, or we just I, take I a that. little, I, I take a little piece of wax paper. This is what I do at home. And I just rub it around so that the honey will come out easier. Okay, Otherwise, I misunderstood. Okay, so you put a little oil in, because, in there to, yeah. to make the honey come out. So it's not, I don't pour oil in there. We just take a piece of wax paper, wet it with a little bit okay. of the Excuse olive oil, okay. and we wipe it out. Wipe, wipe it out okay. so it's got a, a film just, so it'll come out. Yes. Because yes. see, if you can see oh, that on good. the TV, see how much I got out. If I hadn't had the oil wiped in there, none would have come out. I mean, a plunk, but it would all be coated. Well, I. I learned something every time so, with you, and that really? that's nothing. Thank oh, you. Oh, okay, and, and we've got our our, our, dress our dress here. So you put honey on there. Yes, and then I pour this over. And then you're gonna pour that on it. Yes, and that's the vinegar that has the mother. And then we're gonna finish this up. And Gus, we're gonna put the lid on this, and then we're gonna put that in the refrigerator. And you can leave that at least for an hour. But the longer you leave it, you can leave it overnight. And then we just put it in the refrigerator, and then it's ready to go on the grill or baked in the oven, and it's time to go to a commercial break. Okay. Do you have a question before I'll, we go? I'll wait until after the commercial. Okay, that'd be great. Thanks so much. We'll see you right back. Welcome back, y'all. We have the chicken tenders already in the oven, and we'll be eating those pretty soon. Looking forward to that. Yes, and I hope you like that. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about garlic. I always use a garlic press on here from Pampered Chef, which makes this really easy. But since some of you might not have a garlic press and you haven't gotten one, Gus, I wanted to show them how easy it is to do. Now, this is a whole bulb. So when somebody says a bulb, mm -hmm. okay, they, they might put that, sometimes they'll roast a whole bulb, or sometimes they'll use a whole bulb when they're doing like chicken bras and stuff like that, okay? But that is a lot of garlic. Okay. Yes, and, and so you're just gonna use a clove. Right, a, clove a lot of people don't realize, see a clove, you can just peel it off, they're all different sizes, and it pops mm -hmm. out just like that, see? Yes. Now what I do with one clove, I do a lot with cloves, we can just, um, we'll take this, bigger one with the green beans. I have just put in here to steam. Let me move this back on this side here now. I've just put this in here. We're gonna steam this. These are the green beans I use, Gus. They're organic. They're also Earthbound Farms. Earthbound you, I find those at Ingalls, and they're organic all. But um, we're gonna steam those lightly. We don't want them too wiggly like we used to do in the South. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, I So, um, and what I do then- Are you then, gonna chop the garlic? Actually, that's what I was going to let you do, if that's okay. Would you like to chop the garlic? Sure. I okay. Can. All you got to do first, Gus, I'm going to show you. Just take that off, that little end, and uh -huh. that little end. And then you're going to want to just take that paper off, so you might have to slide it down a little bit to get the outer paper off. Okay? okay. All right. When you have a garlic press, that outer paper stays in the garlic press, and it pushes the rest out. Okay. There's... Paper and the other thing about, about the garlic press, you don't have the smell of working with the garlic on your hands. It's in the garlic press. There. And this, take that paper on the outside off, Gus. Thank you. It's hard to get off. It, it is. It's really hard. It's like a... Uh, it's a real good covering, isn't it? It is, but I finally... You got it. I finally got it. Okay. That's right. Now, now, now you want to chop it? Yes, I want you to chop it as fine as you can chop it, if okay. you would, please. I'll you do that. realize you gave me a I knife know. that goes like that. It's and I realized that um, <laughs> Dale said to be careful with you at knives. Yes, so with, with I think sharp, it's, sharp instrument. Yes, it's okay. I should have brought the one that um, I let my kids use. Yes. That's what it's I... It's blunt. It's blunt. That's right. <laughs> I'm saving it for those grandkids now. I hear you got a grandson on the way. I do. I'm so excited. I really you am. You should be. I, I really am. 
I was kind of hoping they would have twins, but I didn't tell them that. I was yeah. praying for that. So, one at a time. That's one right. That's time. right. All right, how fine do you want this? Um, maybe? That's fine enough. That really is. You can do it as fine as you'd like. What we're going to well, do I th is... I think that uh, I my, have all my fingers left. That's great. Now, what you're going to do is bring that cutting board over here with that knife. Okay. We're going to put a tiny bit of oil in here. I mean, just a tiny bit. I wouldn't put more than a half a tablespoon in. Oh, it smells so good. It does, doesn't it? It does. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. And be careful. Sometimes this gets slick, y'all. Now we're going to put this on, and we're going to do a little bit of onion... I have to figure out where this okay. one is. You want me okay, to do the onion for you? Okay, we That's what I want you to do. Okay. okay, let's take the rest of that garlic off that knife oh, here. Yes. And that way. Now, um, have you ever cut an onion before, Gus? I uh, have, but probably not like you've ever seen before. Go ahead and try it. Okay. Let's see how you do it. Okay. All right. And we just need a very little bit of it. Uh, I understand. That's why I do. What I like to do is, is, uh, is just go slice it. I just need one circle. Yes, just put it yeah. in the circles like that's that. That's right. Okay, and that's great. And then take the outside off. That's right. You're doing good, Gus. All right. What kind of onion do we have here? We have a you know, sweet Georgia Vidalia. All right. Is. That's my favorite. Of course. Okay. Now, we're not going to do all of that onion, so we'll save that. We've got a tomato salad on another show that we're going to do here after this. All right, so yeah, how, how much would you, you like? do a half? About, about half of it. That'd be great. And if you will cut this side, because this is a little smaller, and mm -hmm. I want you to cut them really small if you can. All righty. All right. And we might only do a fourth of that, actually. Well, half of that, I mean. Correct. Yeah, that's... Fourth of the whole. Yes, you're right. That's plenty right there. Okay. Let's stop there. And if you'll right. chop now, that up a little bit finer for me, please. I will, and... and and this, the onion, is going in with the garlic. It is. It's going in with the garlic. Okay. Okay. Now, let me explain to you why you want to fresh chop it. You can go in the store and buy everything already done, but it has the most nutrients when you chop it yourself. It's just like with the grains mm -hmm. and the whole wheat. Mm -hmm. If you buy stuff already chopped, it's already lost most of its nutrition. Yes. You're already losing a lot once you pick it. That's why family gardens were so good. If you could go out in your yard and pick it, that was the most nutritious, okay? Correct. But uncut is the next best, okay, since we don't, everybody doesn't have family gardens, and I keep saying we should have one. My son from Mother's Day, Gus, built me this whole thing so I could have this wooden thing for me and everything. We were going to do it, but we've had so much rain that yeah, it, I it, couldn't it, do it. it. It has been a rainy, rainy, it rainy, has. But we, rainy season. Well, you know, too, Lake Hartwell was such a drought. I saw in the paper that uh, Lake Hartwell was, was the highest that it has been since 1964. Are you serious? That's correct. Well, it's going over the banks. We have roads closed in the Clemson area because it's going wow. over its banks. Well, it sure is pretty. It I is pretty. Yeah, I, I know, was, it is. When I was coming over here today, it was, so, I've never seen it. I've never seen I've it, never so seen it like this. Yes. I never have. But I didn't I live mean, near it. Well, of course. I, I wasn't born Greenville. in 1964. Yes. <laughs> Were you born in 1964? <laughs> before. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> before. All right, I think I've got it. Well, Mary Kay says you should never tell your age. Why don't you bring this no. over? I, I didn't. That's right, you didn't. Go ahead and put this on here. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, You're doing great. Nice. That's a Pampered Chef cutting board. I yes. love it. Isn't that wonderful? That, it is nice. It's a real nice one. It's very nice. But it, now, and it's, it's real I'm a, good can and I flat, show you so something? It, yes. Here, do this and this, and then you got it all. Thank you. Thank and that you is, so it's much. real good. No, no pores. No, I know. It's not, no pores, so it's, it's really nice. Good and, food and it's easy yes. to clean up. Yes. Now, food let food me food. tell you the trick here, Gus. We're just going to saute this. Our beans are about ready. Okay. And I do this after I've steamed them, but I don't want them too, too done. And then we pop them in here so that, um, and let me turn this down some now. We pop it in here. I think I'll set this over here. Okay. There, and I'm going to go ahead and get this. And you know what? I realize I need this to get this out with. Okay. There, we're going to dump this in here, and I don't know if this is going to work. I left my little thing at home. Y'all have to understand and forgive me. Everything's in my kitchen at home, and I come to this oh, kitchen, do, and I forget great. stuff sometimes. You do great. Thanks, Gus. We'd... There, I think I've about got them out. And then you just toss You've done it around. that before. Yeah, I have, <laughs> actually. You're right, cool. Gus. Without hot pads, I'm a little lost sometimes, and I forget to bring them. 
Okay, and then you stir, stir those around and here. try to I get the... Here, put this here, okay. you stir it. Go ahead. Okay. And then the, we'll put the lid the on. Garlic in yeah, there. do all that, Gus. You're good. Right. Tell you what, it's smelling good. It does smell good, it doesn't does. it? It does. And you this can put a little sea salt if you want, but you really don't have to with your garlic. You don't really need a lot of salt. A lot of people don't realize that. Garlic is a great flavor. It is a great flavor. I wanted to ask you this, uh, this out of there. curiosity. Let's put this on for a minute. Do you, is, there, is one onion more nutritious than another onion? As in, you got what, white, yellow, and red onions? It, or, and it, you, yeah, you're right. Um, I don't know, but I'll look that up. But uh, to me, one was better for you. I know, I know the Vidae tastes the best, of well, course, but I, was I just think since we're Southerners, oh, actually, I think I do know the red onion. Red onion is better for you? Because of the red skin. I think I did know okay. that. Because okay. prunes, anything red is like that. So, okay. and guess what? We've got to go to a commercial break, okay? Okay, we're going to eat when we come back? Yes, we are. Okay, good. All right, thanks. All right. Welcome back, y'all. We've got our plates done. I've already tasted it. Oh, what did you think? I You've think tasted it's, it's it too. It's great. It it's is wonderful, great. isn't it? What do you? It's tender. It's very tender, and um, and Mary Beth, I was you know, I you are the best cook. And if you want to, if you want to get this recipe, you do what? If I, I you know, in case it again to all, or I, I didn't record it, so I'm watch it again. What what do we need to do? All they have to do is go on the website, and okay. it's Mary Beth's Kitchen. Mary Best um, Kitchen. Dot com or Cooking with Miss O. They're trying to straighten that out because some people don't realize you can go to either one. And it's Cooking with Miss O, M I S S. Is it the same website? Um, they've got them connected. It? Yes, okay. it's the same website. Okay, well, is it different? A lot of people were putting on, in, on, no, no, same thing. They were trying to go to Cooking with Miss O, and we okay. had it under my well, um, my email. Okay. And so, so they did that. Cooking so. with Miss O or, or Mary Best Kitchen. Mary Best com. Kitchen. See what you think. And Eat these are organic sweet potatoes. Mm. That honey. Excellent. Can you taste the honey? Mm-hmm. This got a different taste, doesn't it? Can I just help 